So when developers are looking at uh, centralized cloud storage, uh, the uh, there's a, there's a number of reasons that uh, developers might have concerns. Um, cost is certainly a major one, and often the costs are hidden uh, or or less clear than they should be, and so developers sometimes get hit with large bills that they weren't expecting. Uh, so for developers bringing uh, new digital services to market. Um, it's always uh, a matter of being first to market and taking the largest market share, right? When new categories defined, um, there's always a winner and cloud services are a great way to jumpstart that, uh, that speed to market. Where the problem comes in is uh, those economics quickly shift um, so that those cloud services that, uh, that get you going with no upfront costs have this ongoing costs, uh, cost structure that is prohibitive. Uh, and so as those applications are successful, as they generate a lot of usage and that usage generates a lot of data, the costs often uh, outpace um, the, the revenue being generated and the use being generated. The amount of data is exploding uh, and costs have not come down. And you know, meanwhile, higher and higher definition video, uh, more and more information on, uh, on activities getting collected. Um, and so just the cost of storing it is, is out of control. And the problem with that is that over time, it continues to grow. And incremental growth, growth in uh, data usage at you know even just a five percent month over month growth can very quickly outpace any application's ability to get past that cost structure. Privacy is a significant concern for developers uh, today because the the focus has really shifted from from the end consumers of their applications in the direction of privacy, and so if developers want to build privacy-focused applications, they have to really be careful about what services they incorporate into the applications they develop. I think that developers now more than ever need to worry about the consequences of what they're building. They want to make sure that what they're building is wonderful, but also that it respects privacy. And so if they're using cloud services like cloud storage, um, what they're going to want to see is cloud storage services that are, that are aligned um, ideologically from a privacy and security perspective, because that tends to be, uh, have a knock-on effect that, that the product itself um, is focused around being private uh, by default and secure uh, by design. And I think developers are interested broadly in, in, in helping to fix this to some degree, and, and they want to make private software. Um, not just because their customers want it, but because it's it's the right thing to do to, to make sure that, uh, that, the, that, the, that what we're building is contributing to the betterment of, of the people who use what we're building. As everyone is moving more and more online, there is a growing amount of news articles about attacks and vulnerabilities and uh, cyber security issues uh, with centralized cloud services and really with every service, right? The cyber crime is becoming a larger and larger issue. The security challenge with centralized cloud storage is very similar to the challenges that people had when they were storing data on premise, namely that all of the data is ultimately stored in an unencrypted way um, on servers that can be accessed by lots of people. And if you are storing your data with one of the large centralized large cloud providers, you have to trust that they'll do a good job. Um, and you have to trust that everybody in the company who has access to that data is doing a good job. You have to trust that they do a good job of keeping bad actors out and that uh, the data isn't going to be mined or otherwise used inappropriately. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, uh, even if the companies as, as a whole are trying to do a good job, uh, there are always individuals. People make errors. People make mistakes. I think what developers find are that uh, securing those, those um, objects, the companies that build them create fantastic tools for using uh, to secure data, but the actual execution of those tools inside of an application, it's very easy to misconfigure a, a bucket and, and make it available. Or if you're using an open source tool, um, miss that it, that it has some uh, behaviors that weren't uh, designed or intended that suddenly re uh, reveal uh, log files or something. And so as you sort of step back and you say, wow, cloud storage is, is very convenient uh, and easy to use, 
but at the same time, it comes with a lot of landmines in terms of your privacy and security. And while those those may have sort of been, you know, less impactful uh, ten years ago, now with the rise of cybersecurity attacks um, and whole business models that have been frankly developed just around ransomware and malware and the, the selling of people's private information, that whole uh, paradigm has shifted. If you think of the three biggest concerns that are facing the industry as a whole, as well as developers in particular, are security and privacy, cost and being at the edge, those are almost inherently impossible to solve within a centralized structure. Right? Um, you know, the fact that uh, the data is being stored centrally by large organizations who are storing you know, large percentages of the world's data uh, all in the same place is inherently a security and privacy issue. Centralized cloud storage just isn't meeting the needs of developers today, whether it's from a privacy and security perspective and giving developers the tools they need to be successful in delivering private and secure applications to their end customers, whether it's on making sure that, that they can provide uh, highly available data uh, that is resistant to the loss of, of any single um, component or data center, um, but at the same time, delivering both the privacy and security and the availability and performance in a way that isn't um, counterproductive from a cost perspective. And so when you look at you know, how much these services cost, you can absolutely aggregate all the security and privacy and availability you want, but ultimately the ROI on all of those services ends up being cost prohibitive to the developer. What developers need is a service that has amazing security and privacy baked in, that has all of the availability that they will ever need, but not delivered at an incremental cost that that uh, detracts from their ability to grow and scale. I think that uh, 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 we're going to see developers start to wake up from this sort of uh, local uh, optimum situation for themselves and break out of it and get into sort of a, a much better optimal position globally for themselves. Uh, by, by being able to focus on edge computing, decentralized storage, all of these sort of uh, 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 services that are being now offered outside of the data center are going to make a big, a big improvement to developers' lives. Mm -hmm.